here's how OpenAI's new open source models compare to O4 Mini in five simple tests. So OpenAI just open sourced its first language models in over six years. There's two open weights reasoning models called GPT OSS. There's a 20B model that's comparable to O3 Mini, and then there's a 120B model that's supposedly comparable to O4 Mini. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 120B model and see how it compares to O4 Mini, not by looking at benchmarks, but by actually running some tests ourselves so we can see the output side by side and get a feel for the model. Before I dig into these tests, why are these models a big deal? According to benchmarks, they're state-of-the-art reasoning models for their class, and they have good agentic capabilities and function calling and structured output support. But the biggest thing is that we now have these pretty cheap models, 100 times cheaper than Opus 4.1 that just came out, uh, that are fully open source, fully Apache 2.0. You can download them. You can fine tune them. You can host them on your own GPUs or on Together AI. Uh, but regardless, you know, you have these models, you have their weights, you own them and you can kind of do whatever you want with them. Uh, and and they're, they're pretty affordable as well. All right, just before the test, just a quick disclaimer that these are just some you know prompts that I like to run on new models to kind of fill them out. It's not super scientific. Uh, it's not gonna give you a very comprehensive overview, but you know we're just looking for a little bit of a feel of the model. All right, let's get right into these tests. Okay, here we have chat GPT running O4 mini on the left, and we have chat.together.ai, which is our own version of chat GPT, running GPT OSS 120B on the right. So this is where we're gonna use to compare them. So test number one, one is going to be creating a snake game in the terminal. So we're going to launch these and we will check them out when they're done. All right, they're now done. Took only a few seconds and we're going to check both of them out. So first one we're going to copy is 04 mini. I'm going to go ahead to cursor and we're going to run this game to see uh, how it does. There we go. All right, we have a snake game. Oh, let me rerun that. We have a snake game over here. It's not really working. I'm pressing the up button and you see it's only moving side to side. Uh, that was kind of a fail by O4 Mini. Let's check out uh, GBT OSS uh, 120B and see how this one does. All right. Okay, let's see. Oh, arrow buttons work and we get bigger. Look at that. We actually do have a fully functioning snake game. Obviously it doesn't look great, but it's in the terminal. So we didn't actually let it use uh, existing libraries like Pygame, uh, and let's see if it crashes when it hits the corner. It does. Wow. All right, great. Let's go back to the scoreboard, and we're actually going to give GPT OSS 120B a check mark, and we're going to give O4 Mini an X. Uh, so, so far, one out of five and zero out of five. Let's see how we do in the next test. All right, so here are the results. Here's the SVG of a Pelican. It's actually very nice from O4 Mini. And uh, the one from GPT OSS 120B, I put it in an SVG viewer and it's this. So kind of works. You see the, the, the Pelican and you see the bike and it's kind of on top of it. He just doesn't have the physics exactly right. Um, so we're actually gonna go and we'll give GPT OSS, I think half, I think half is fair here. So we'll do this guy and we'll do, it uh, means a half. And uh, for O4 Mini, it actually performed it very well. So, so far we have one out of five and 1.5 out of five. All right, next test. All right, our third test is focused on instruction following and summarization. We're asking it to rewrite the U.S. Declaration of Independence first two paragraphs in this, you know, cyberpunk style. So we want to see if it knows what this is, if it can rewrite the first two paragraphs well, if it can rewrite them in this style, and if it can preserve historical references as well. So that's what we're testing for. Here's the results from, from both models. Um, we're actually not going to judge this ourselves. We're going to get this to a few powerful reasoning models and see what they say. All right, so the first reasoning model we gave it to is DeepSeek R1, hosted on uh, Together AI. I just said, hey, I asked uh, two models this question, which model's answer is better? And model A in this case is GPT OSS uh, 120B, and model B is uh, O4 Mini. So you can already see model A is a little bit more succinct, a little bit smaller, but let's see what uh, what it thinks. So let's go down all the way at the bottom. Final verdict. Model A wins by perfectly balancing the prompt's requirements. Um, it got three check marks for historical accuracy. Um, 
it did about as well as Model B for style integration, and it has more clarity, I think, just because it's shorter and it bolded a few things. And it actually referenced, yeah, I think it referenced historical references uh, in, instead of Model B. So uh, GPT OSS looks like it won, DeepSeek R1. Let's also try out, um, before we, we, we give it a score, let's also try out O4 Mini High and see which one it thinks is better. So same kind of prompt. Uh, let's see what it says. Overall, Model A strikes the best balance. So the winner is Model A unanimously. Uh, so we can go back and uh, give GPT OSS uh, the win here. So, so far it's looking pretty good for GPT OSS. Let's check out test four. All right, so test number four is testing mathematical reasoning. Here we're giving it a word problem. A farmer counts 196 legs and 68 heads among her chickens and cows. How many of each animal does she own? Um, a little bit harder than it looks. A lot of other models have actually failed at this, uh, but let's see how both of these did. The answer is 38 and 30, 38 and 30. That's, there you go. So both models got it. On to our last test. Okay, our last test is to see how good these models are at synthesizing information using web search. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on web search uh, for both models, and we're gonna give them this task, where as of uh, July 2025, summarize the current status of this like NSA program. Uh, and I want it in less than, or equal to 200 words. So we're gonna see you know, how closely it follows these instructions, uh, but we'll also see you know, how good it is at like, you know, uh, you know, browsing, the, the, browsing the web, but really summarizing all these sources from the web. So um, they're both doing their searches right now and we'll take a look when they're done. All right, so both of them have finished and they're actually fairly similar answers. They both seem pretty solid. Uh, they talked about the completed missions. They also talk about the next launches. Uh, it looks like, you know, GPT OSS cited uh, a launch that um, 04 Mini uh, maybe forgot about, but that could also be because of the search results, because you know they might not be using the same exact uh, search tool. So um, overall, very, very similar uh, answers. I'm gonna give both of them a pass for this one. So we can go back and give them both a pass uh, for this one. And yeah, overall, we have GPT OSS 120B at a 4.5 out of 5, and we have O4 Mini at a 3 out of 5. So, um, pretty good. You know, I think passes the vibe check for me, at least for some of these uh, things. It seems, uh, you know, good at instruction following, kind of on par with O4 Mini at a bunch of these, uh, you know, random tests. So, overall, the model. Uh, Seems like it's pretty good. I'm excited to play around with it some more. I'm excited for more third-party uh, independent benchmarks to come out and uh, we'll see how it goes. If you wanna try out the GPT OSS models, we actually support them uh, on uh, together.ai. So you can head to together.ai, create an account, and you can use them uh, with, with great performance and price on our playground or through our API. Thanks for watching.